Imagine this. You're fasting. No breakfast. No lunch. No dinner. Just water and something stronger than hunger. A deep curiosity about your own body. And the real question isn't how hungry will you get, but rather what's really happening inside your kidneys, those humble but mighty organs when food stops coming in. We often hear about the heart, the brain, or the liver when it comes to health. But rarely do we talk about the kidneys, the silent survival engines working 24 sevenths, filtering over 180 liters of blood every day, without complaint, without rest, keeping you alive every second. So what happens when you stop eating when there's no protein, no sugar, no salt coming in? Do your kidneys get to rest? Or do they begin a whole new process of repair and regeneration that science is only now beginning to understand? In this video, we'll walk through each phase of fasting from hour 1 to day 7 and uncover a stunning truth. Your kidneys don't weaken, they heal. From reducing inflammation, oxidative stress, to activating regenerative genes, the quiet work your kidneys do in the background could be the greatest biological magic show you never noticed. If you're someone who's fascinated by science, health, and the human body's miraculous resilience, then subscribe to this channel now and watch all the way to the end. Because today's insights might change how you think about food, healing, and the silent power of your own kidneys. And hey, if you hit that subscribe button, every click counts. Every sub builds a community of people who are ready to learn, heal, and evolve together. Phase 0, 12 hours. When the kidneys stop processing orders and start cleaning house, most of us treat the kidneys like tireless machines, plug them in, and they work forever. No breaks, no burnout, no maintenance required. But that couldn't be further from the truth. After every meal, your kidneys jump into overdrive, filtering out everything you just consumed. Excess protein, salt, sugar, additives, medications, even the caffeine from that just one more iced coffee. They're like an overworked logistics employee, swamped with 200 new orders a day, never getting a chance to clean their desk or update their system. All resources go toward incoming packages, and no one asks, hey, does the repair team need a break? Then, something interesting happens. When you begin fasting specifically from the 4th to 12th hour after your last bite, insulin levels start to drop. This is the body's quiet signal. Heads up, no more food coming. Time to switch gears. And for your kidneys, it's the long-awaited low-order day. Pressure eases, the machines slow down, and internal repairs can finally begin. With the flow of dietary waste reduced, the kidneys can reroute energy from processing to repairing. Broken proteins, dead cells, cellular debris, all the things on the someday cleanup list finally get addressed. This is the beginning of what scientists call a silent restoration phase. No applause, no spotlight. But inside your body, kidney cells quietly go to work, reducing inflammation, balancing filtration pressures, and tidying up microvascular structures that have been working non-stop for months, even years. Research from 2025 showed that even after just 12 hours of fasting, markers of inflammation in kidney tissue began to drop measurably, like extinguishing a fire you didn't even know was smoldering in your basement. And this is just the start. Fasting isn't self-punishment. It's a biological opportunity, a gift of time and space for organs like your kidneys, who have served you loyally 24 7 without ever asking for a day off. Now, they finally get one. Hours 12. 24. When your kidneys start putting out silent fires, if the first stage of fasting gave your kidneys a chance to catch their breath, then this second phase is where they silently begin to heal. Here's the twist. Something crucial is happening inside you. Even though you don't feel a thing, chronic inflammation is beginning to subside. No fever, no rashes, no visible swelling. But for years, your body has been harboring a low-grade fire, a persistent, invisible smoldering, especially in organs like your liver, blood vessels, and yes, your kidneys. It doesn't scream for attention, but this kind of inflammation is one of the primary drivers of long-term kidney damage. It gradually scars the nephrons, the microscopic, elegant filtration units inside your kidneys. 
and yet, by hours 12 to 24 of fasting, that silent fire is starting to fade. Why? Because as insulin levels drop, your body stops getting the message that says, more food is coming, keep storing. Instead, it shifts into repair mode. Inflammatory markers like TNF-alpha and IL-6 begin to decline. And oxidative stress, that insidious biological rust that damages cells, begins to lift. A 2025 study found that people practicing intermittent fasting had significantly lower inflammation in kidney tissue and oxidative stress levels became much more manageable. In other words, fasting doesn't just cut calories, it helps extinguish the slow burn, damaging your kidneys. But there's one crucial rule here, drink more water than usual. About 20% of your daily hydration comes from food. When you fast, you lose that hidden source. And your kidneys can't filter blood without water, just like you can't wash a car with an empty hose. So give your kidneys a little love, a glass of water every few hours. Simple, but it fuels a profound process of renewal happening behind the scenes. Hours 2448. When your kidneys enter deep clean mode and begin cellular self-repair. After a full day of fasting, your body is no longer just resting. It's now activating one of its most elegant survival tools, autophagy, literally translated as self-eating, but don't worry, it's a good thing. Imagine this. Every cell in your body is like a tiny house. Over time, broken furniture, old appliances, and random clutter pile up. If you never clean, the house becomes messy, slow, and dysfunctional. Autophagy is your body's elite janitorial crew, arriving right on time when you stop feeding it. Damaged proteins, broken mitochondria, and malfunctioning cell components are gathered, recycled, and repurposed. Nothing is wasted. For the kidneys, this cleanup is critically important. The nephron, the microscopic blood filtering unit, is delicate and precise, but highly vulnerable to cellular debris buildup. Left unchecked, these internal trash piles can cause fibrosis, gradually impairing the kidney's ability to filter blood effectively. Recent studies show that autophagy dramatically reduces fibrosis risk, especially in people with chronic inflammation or early nephron damage. You can't see autophagy, but by fasting strategically, you give your kidneys a rare chance to detox at the cellular level. This isn't some influencer's juice cleanse, this is a survival program encoded in your DNA, handed down by ancestors who thrived without 24 7 food access. Fasting is not punishment. It's the switch that activates one of your body's most powerful built-in repair systems. Hours 48, 72. When ketones peak and become healing fuel for your kidneys, by day two of fasting, your body enters an entirely new metabolic state. Your liver starts producing ketones, clean-burning energy molecules made from stored fat. But ketones aren't just backup fuel. They're premium fuel with built-in healing properties. At this stage, beta-hydroxybutyrate, BHB, the star ketone, does more than power your cells. It sends anti-inflammatory signals, reduces oxidative stress, and triggers powerful anti-aging mechanisms throughout your body. For your kidneys, ketones are like an elite repair team that also brings energy. Recent studies show that ketones can slow the process of fibrosis in kidney tissues, a key factor in chronic kidney disease and loss of filtration function. A 2024 study of over 500 patients with polycystic kidney disease found something remarkable. Those with higher ketone levels experienced slower decline in kidney function than those with lower levels. In other words, ketones are not just fuel, they're protective messengers at the cellular level. Scientists now refer to ketones as superfuel, not just because they energize your cells, but because they also instruct them to resist damage, repair themselves, and perform better. And the best part? You don't need expensive drugs to unlock ketones. All it takes is strategic fasting, and your body will flip the switch all on its own. Days 3-5 when genes reactivate and your kidneys begin to regenerate. If the first two days of fasting give your body time to rest and clean house, then day three marks the start of something far more extraordinary, 
your body doesn't just repair, it begins to regenerate. At the cellular level, this is when genes long believed to be dormant since you were a fetus start switching back on. And one of the most jaw-dropping discoveries in kidney research came in 2024 when scientists found that fasting may help regenerate kidney cells once thought impossible to restore. A research team at Children's Hospital Los Angeles and USC conducted a groundbreaking study. They fed mice with chronic kidney disease a fasting-mimicking diet. What happened next shocked even the scientists. Genes related to kidney development normally only active in the womb turned back on. Specifically, podocytes specialized kidney cells that wrap around blood vessels and filter waste began to regenerate. This was previously believed to be impossible. In adults, podocytes don't divide. Once lost, they were considered gone for good. But this study flipped that belief on its head. And it didn't just happen in mice. In a small human trial with 13 patients suffering from chronic kidney disease, those who followed controlled periodic fasting saw kidney protective effects that lasted up to a full year. No drugs, no surgery, just science-backed, strategic fasting. These findings offer a profound truth. Your body, if given the right signals, can accomplish what medicine once thought was beyond reach. And your kidneys, the silent workers filtering your blood every hour, might just have a second chance at life. While fasting may offer profound benefits for kidney health, it is not safe for everyone, especially when it comes to prolonged fasting, beyond 24 hours, or intensive intermittent fasting. If you have chronic kidney disease, particularly with EGFR below 30, or are currently taking medications for high blood pressure or diabetes, fasting without medical supervision can be dangerous. Medications and electrolyte needs can shift rapidly during fasting, potentially leading to dangerous imbalances for your heart and kidneys. Additionally, you should not attempt extended fasting if you belong to any of these groups, pregnant or breastfeeding women. Individuals with eating disorders, for example, anorexia, bulimia, patients undergoing dialysis, those with a history of severe kidney stones or advanced liver disease. In these cases, fasting may worsen your condition and cause unintended harm. Bottom line, fasting is a powerful biological tool, and the more powerful it is, the more responsibly it must be used. Always consult your doctor if you have any medical conditions before starting. In a world of constant snacking, late-night meals, and endless food availability, our organs, especially the kidneys, rarely get a break. But science now reveals a powerful truth. When you pause, your body repairs. When you stop overwhelming your system, silent heroes like the kidneys begin healing, optimizing, and even regenerating. From reducing chronic inflammation, lowering oxidative stress, to triggering cellular cleanup and regeneration, all of this can be activated not by pills, but by simply giving your body a break through well-timed fasting. Fasting isn't an extreme diet. It's an ancient biological tool, hardwired into your DNA, a survival gift from your ancestors. And today, it may be the key to healing, now backed by modern science. If you care about your body, maybe it's time to try less, but smarter. And if you found this science valuable, please subscribe to help us reach our first milestone. Your subscription is a vote for meaningful, well-researched content and for learning to trust your body again. Thank you for watching till the end. Drop a comment if you've tried fasting or are curious about it because your story might inspire someone else to take the first step.